these last couple of game modes that we have here in Resident Evil. So first one we're gonna try is Ethan Must Die. Ethan Must Die does not support VR. Okay. So I have to get out of VR mode for that. In that case, <clears throat> let's play Jack's 55th birthday first then. It's Jack's birthday, but he has no interest in present. It's food he wants, so find some for him as fast as you can. And that also doesn't support VR mode. Alright, so I have to totally get out of VR mode before we can play any of these. How do I get out of VR mode? One moment. Ending VR mode? Yes. Now let's go to <clears throat> Ethan Must Die. A mountain of corpses. This hellish house has been constructed for but one purpose, to kill intruders. No saves. Items are randomized each time. Countless traps and monsters await. Ethan will most likely die here, but fear not. Even in death, you can still retry again and again and again. <clears throat> so, I don't know how much of this I'm going to play, but I'll give it a shot just to show it off. I'm not really too into the whole... Nazi zombie survival aspect type of game. But this may not be that. These loading screens though. Man. We'll get through it though. Eventually. <laughs> Sheesh. <clears throat> this is going to be my first time playing Resident Evil without VR. So it's probably going to feel a bit different. Defeat Marguerite in the greenhouse. Great. Why, why does it have to be Marguerite? Okay, that's locked. All I have is a knife. Yeah, all I have is a knife. Everything is super dark. There's scary sounds. That's locked. Is the house locked? Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow. <clears throat> well, they definitely weren't kidding about the Ethan's gonna die part. Holy smokes. Brutal. Oof. 
Hooray! Chem fluid. I wonder what was up with that star above the crate. Is that to tell me how good the crate's gonna be? <laughs> it has my grave? Oh shoot. Give me that crate! No! Wow. This is a brutal game mode. I kind of want to try a bit more, though. I feel like I'm not giving it a, a fair chance quite yet. <clears throat> I just feel like I can't even get a foothold, though. Maybe I'm going to indoors too early? Like, maybe I need to find more boxes like this. Yeah, like, pistol would certainly help, even though it only has nine shots. Is there any other boxes out here? What's this? Maybe this is where the greenhouse is. It's so dark. Alright. Well, a handgun isn't going to make much of a difference. But we'll try. <coughs> Go for the stairs. Dang. Okay. <clears throat> One more try. And then I think I'm gonna call it quits. <laughs> this is definitely not my sort of game mode. X-ray glasses? What does that do? Improve vision so you can see where items are located. Okay. Uh, box. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, um, Ethan must die over and over and over and over again. Looks like it has some interesting things going on there, but it's not my kind of game. So let's move on to Jack's 55th birthday. So, stage selection, okay. What kind of weird mini game is this gonna be? <clears throat> Jack is hungry and waiting in the stages below. Where would you like to party? I guess we're gonna party in the guest house. Make Jack eat it. Bring food to Jack, feed it to him. The faster to fill him up, the higher rank you will be. What is this, like a Dine and Dash game? <laughs> Today is Jack's 
55th birthday to celebrate. The family whipped up a special menu, but it just wasn't enough for greedy old Jack. That's where you come in. Find the food hidden around the stage. Bring it to Jack to satisfy his hunger. Rules. <coughs> you can find all sorts of delicious food scattered around the stage. Pick up the food, bring it to Jack. You can feed Jack selected food from your inventory. Every time you feed Jack, his satisfaction gauge will increase. Max out the satisfaction gauge to complete the stage. Jack, you look ridiculous. What do we have here? Oh, that's what we just read. Okay. Food. I, I will. What's this? Don't just... Don't you just love spices? You can add all sorts of things. Chicken, beef, and even stew. No matter how it tastes, dude, there's no point in eating it by itself. Unfortunately, it just doesn't fill you up. Okay. And what do we have in here? What? What's all this? Handgun, I guess? And a knife? And first aid? I don't know. I didn't wasn't expecting fighting in this game. Okay. Boy, this is super silly. Oh no. What is this game? Where's the food, Jack? S rank is 14 minutes left? That's ridiculous. I don't know what I just picked up. Spice. Oh shoot. How do I get the blue blaster? How do you drop stuff? Okay. What does that do? I only have it for 30 seconds. Um, holy cow. I have no room for anything. Pick up the chicken! Oh no, I picked up more spice. How big is the chicken? Okay, now combine the spice with the chicken. Sorry, Jack. Here. Spicy chicken. Holy cow, he ate the whole thing. Oh, that's not enough. Let's get the other chicken.
Add the spice. I know, I'm hurrying. Can we find food? There's more spice. There's plenty of spice to find. How about in here? Grab that chicken. And this, and this, the cheap wine. Here, have some wine. What did that do? Oh shoot. Give me the chicken. Out of my way. Oh shoot. Get out of the way! Get the knife! Is the chicken spicy? No. Make it spicy. Are you satisfied? Mm. Wow. Now what am I supposed to do? Give me that wine. One bottle ought to do it. Happy birthday! Defense one and fire one. Okay. Testing area one and clairvoyance. I have no idea what any of that is doing. I guess we'll move on to the testing area now. I never thought I'd be playing a game like this in a Resident Evil game.
The knife seems oddly effective. Because you don't necessarily want to kill the guys, you just want to have them move out of your way. Okay. Happy 55th birthday! Hmm. What's this? If you do a good job, I'll reward you with skills. Skills are... how do I put it? Well, they're things that have an effect on you when you carry them. If you carry lots of skills, you can become super powerful, but be careful, some skills have negative effects. Also, the more skills you carry, the less food you'll be able to hold. Hmm. Don't you think these skills sound like something from a video game? Crazy, huh? Where's the... there it is. So we got clairvoyance. I can see where items are. That'd be helpful. Attack power up, defense up. Let's get clairvoyance. Let's get um, some health. Let's get the knife. Let's get handgun. Ammo, ammo. Um, and sure, we'll do one more. There. That should be enough. Okay, there's items here. Grab them. Just grab the items and run. Out of the way. We got food to grab. Out of the way. This is locked. Jack's hungry. We got to feed him. What did we get? We got some fruit and some beer. Sorry, Jack. Here, eat. Eat. Drink. Oh. Had to reload. Okay. Shoot. Just get out of the way. Grab that stew. There's another lock. found a machine gun. Okay, I think he unlocked something. We're full. We gotta feed Jack. Oh, we have some spice. Add that with the stew. Guess he didn't like that cheese. Fruit, chicken. It 
Is that it? Yep. I'm coming. Here's some chicken. Here's some fruit. Sheesh, just get out of the way. Grab all the stuff. I'm lost. Grab it. Oh, we're full. Shoot. Oh, we're out of that gun. So close. Surely I have enough. That last bit should do it, I think. Come on. Nope.
I don't know what to do. I don't think that did anything. Oh, there's stairs over here. Holy cow. Come on, shoot him. He's too close. gonna lose at this rate okay that surely is enough now Jack, take your food. That's still not enough? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Add the spice in the stew. And run! Oh, surprisingly more difficult than I thought. I guess we'll keep running with this. Oh, that's all we got. We gotta do better in order to unlock more. Hmm. But, I think I've had enough, honestly. <laughs> So, that's all the DLC. I've thought about playing through the game again, but I don't know if it'd be as fun a second time since I know what happens and sort of the scares that come up. But 
I'll keep it in mind. If enough people want a second playthrough, I'll do it. Anyway, this is Anton's the man signing out. I hope you had a good time while you stopped by and tune in for more in the future. See ya.